West Coast is breathtaking. Rocks shaped like pancakes, loads of trees, chunks of ice. Nice. When times were tough, we were thinking about the other side. And now I know how it really feels to be alive. Cause I was so cold. Rocking to Westport on a beautiful summer's day. We'd heard that it always rains on the west coast of the South Island. Proof that this is not the case at all. Hey Dave, how's it going? Yeah, good, how are you, man? Good, thanks. Good, Dave Kelly. 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 How's things? Nice, nice to meet you. Man. All good, all good. So yeah, Robin, tell us about this place. How long have you guys been here? The brewery's been here 16 years, and I've been here about seven or eight months. It's been going good so far. We've got um, it's four beers on tap when I got here, now there's seven, so... Nice. Alright. Working hard. Yeah. So people are liking their new beers, they're liking something, something a bit new and exciting and, yeah, and full of flavour. They are, they're loving it. The, the pale ale was just going to be a seasonal and um, it just sold out, they loved it. And so um, it's on full time now, it's going to stick around. It's taken off in Westport, it must be taken off everywhere, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're not saying you guys are the last place to get things, eh? <laughs> Dave has a great brewing pedigree, with time spent at Sharps in the UK and Burley Brewing in Oz. Pretty simple, two and a half thousand litre batches, two brews a week. Our black bear's still biggest seller. Yeah. And um, yeah, the pale ale's catching up though. I think that the dark beer is your biggest seller. Well, I mean, is that just, do you think the, the locals like, like the darker beers? I don't know or? what it is. Since I've been here, I've brewed twice as many darks as any of the other ones on their own. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. Using a lot of New Zealand hops? Yeah, yeah. all New Zealand hops. That's all I use is New Zealand hops for all the beers. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm loving it. It's, it's going really well. So what, why did you decide on a pale ale? What was why? your inspiration there? Why? Pretty much brew what I want to drink. Oh, nice. <laughs> so, you know, we had, the, we had the other beers covered, and so the first thing I wanted was some hops. Yep. So I got the hops and then followed it up with an English mild. You have to ask for maybe a little taster of, of each of these beers. Is that a possibility, do you think? Mm -hmm. right. New Zealand Draft. Oh, New Zealand Draft. Classic style. Not too challenging. 10 years ago that every single brewery had one of these. It was the biggest category at the Bear Awards. Like, there'd be like 20 or 30 entries, but now it's all moved and everyone stopped making these and making pale ales. Yeah. I think that you, you're seeing that with your pale ale. People are like going, well, we, we really want a pale ale and yeah. they're kind of over the New Zealand draft, which is a little, probably a little bit sweet and um, doesn't really offer much, but the pale ale is quite similar, but um, offers all that extra hot flavor. Yeah. Well, we have some of the best hops in the world. So, you know, I think it's so the people are realising that and, uh, and want to try beers that have got those flavours in them as well, which is pretty cool. Different things as well coming along. Got a backwards Oktoberfest, you know, I brewed March. it. Yeah, I brewed it in October. It'll be released in March. It's been sitting in the condition tank. It's cool. Tasting pretty good. How strong is that? A little bit stronger than what I wanted. It's coming. And it's pushing a bit over six and a half percent. Oh, nice. All right, so this is our black bear, uh, German Schwarz bear, would probably be it's a lot of places. It's a black lager, it's a bit of like, uh, almost like milk chocolate I with some cacao in there. Quite a fruity sort of in the mouth, I just had a little oh, oh, hand. Yeah, already yeah. there. I've uh, got some like berry sort of character, almost like a, it reminded me of like the boysenberry uh, yeah. that we tried uh, in, in the car. Oh, great, I love it, it's so cool. Love it. I put this up there with, um, what was it? Was it the Tobin cask ale mm -hmm. that we had yes, but, uh, at Arrowtown, Arrow, Arrow yes, Brewing, yes, which was just like the combinations of ingredients yeah. that were put together in a different way to, well, I guess, what my experience has come from in craft beers in New Zealand, and it's just like, wow, that's actually unique and stands out by itself, which I'm, I'm getting with this. West Coast are one of the few organic brewers in New Zealand, following the strict guidelines necessary to brew their awesome organic lager. Uh, yeah, five percent, so a little bit stronger than our standard lager and all certified organic ingredients. So this is the one you bottle, right? 
Yeah, this is our biggest bottled product. We send, you know, this is the one we send from Australia and Auckland and overseas. Yeah, we export it to Auckland. That's <laughs> actually the best I've ever had green fern. Pretty much sums up this whole trip. Sort of going to the brewery, tasting the beers, and beers are. You, you taste over time, you, you yeah. don't go back to them as frequently as you probably should to see how they change, especially when a new brewer comes along. Uh, there's um, been a lot of changes, and it, but there's a lot of people that don't want to give this brewery another chance, so yeah, we, we found that out. Uh, because I tell you what, this is um, pretty awesome. It's really good. Again, don't, that's, a, that's a good thing, sort of thing you mentioned about people try beer once and don't go back to it. I think it's really important that everyone tries a beer, you know, often. Yep. We, we've talked a lot in this trip about seasonality in beers, about different things depending on the type of beer you're brewing, you know, what stage the malt's at, or uh, how old hops are, that sort of thing. You do get sort of that sort of wax and wane of flavours, and it's, uh, yeah, you might get one bad beer every now and then, you know, but go back and try them. And this is a fine example of that. Brilliant beer. Alright, so this is our pale ale. Basically, American style pale ale, all New Zealand hops. And um, yeah, it was only going to be a seasonal, but it, the locals loved it, so now it's on full time. Full time, it's a good taste, eh? Sure. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's New Zealand, okay. Cascade. All New Zealand hops. Yeah. Yeah. Cascades in there, yeah? Yeah. Passion fruit, a little bit of some like ruby grapefruit in there as well. Oh my god, that is awesome. It's all the New Zealand hop haters. Don't think they can do a real parallel with New Zealand hops. Hello, oh, well, that's nearly. That's a pretty good beer. Oh, man. man, that's awesome. Okay. That's wicked. So, where can you get this? Here. Well, here. <laughs> here, like here where we're sitting. Yeah. And where else? A um, couple pubs in town, the bar and door in Christchurch. That's about it at the moment. This might nearly be the best kept secret in the South Island. Oh, without a doubt. This is my type of beer. Perfect. Massive, big, fruity hop. Lovely in the mouth, nice clean bitterness, but it's there, it's big. I know it's going to build up as I drink it. I'm going to want to drink, want to drink more. Um, top marks, also good. Malt too. It's, it's just good. like just holding all the hops together. Brewer to watch. We're keen as to taste the Oktoberfest, a beer traditionally brewed, then drunk at the famous festival in Germany. Sensational. So you've cut on just been in condition for? Since November it's been in there, yeah. brewed in October. It's quite a long, slow, cold fermentation. Amazing um, sort of showcase of what cold conditioning can do for a beer like this. It's just married it together so well. And a bit of time, well, it's had a lot of time. We've got a little bit more to go. I'm really looking forward to this coming out the other side. Yeah. I think um, probably what you're doing here is some pretty awesome stuff with New Zealand hops. and. Maybe we could uh, tap into your knowledge base on what you're doing with, especially that pale ale. I'm just like wowed on that. That's an amazing beer, and maybe sort of your experience and what what you're doing with um, hops, you can uh, bring to the table on the collaboration. Yeah, I think New Zealand hops is definitely something that needs to be in there. Yeah. If you want a New Zealand collaboration? We've got to showcase those New Zealand hops, and yeah. I think that's a great idea. Awesome, cool, sounds good. Well, we'd better hit the road anyway yeah. and head up north and. Yeah. Uh, Thanks a lot for your time, Dave. It's been an absolute pleasure for us. It's no been worries. your beers are outstanding. Well done. Keep on doing what you're doing. Yeah, keep it up here, and you guys have a good rest of your trip. Cool. Cheers, Thanks mate. Good health. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah.